Hi there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to reading Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. Um, we've had some problems. Um, I've had some problems with uh, the web recording device. Um, uh, we did a couple of videos and they got lost. Don't ask me how, but screencast D is kind of like uh, fucking up lately. Uh, so it's been very frustrating. Um, so um, I had to take two days and uninstall everything, reinstalled everything. So today we're we're returning to where we we, we had. So I, it's been like three or four days of three days of just frustration with the recording because it stopped. It would it stopped recording. It would have problems. We you, you saw the beginning. It was just slow with the, the, the thing. So therefore, we're returning. We're returning to where we left off. End of, we're, the last, we're looking at the last five chapters of book uh, 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 nine on friendship. Today, we're looking at chapter eight over there. So let's go. Uh, this is the second time I've recorded this video, so it's uh, frustrating. So let's go. He starts with a question of a perplexity. Chapter eight begins with a question, and it's a question of the question of well, is it right to who should you love more, yourself or someone else? So, uh, 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 the idea. So therefore, let's go start with it. But there's a perplexity too whether uh, one ought to love oneself more most or someone else. So the question of who should you love, should you love your, yourself most or not? For people censor those who are fondest of themselves, on the grounds that, uh, on the grounds that these sort of people are a disgrace, they system, uh, uh, they stigmatize them as self lovers. This is vain. The, you know the, the idea of the self lover is the vain, vanity, uh, 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 self gladiators, people who love themselves more than others. Right? Selfish. Right? Um, the base person is held. To do everything for his own sake, and the more corrupt he is, the more he does this. People accuse him of nothing apart from what concerns his own good. Now, this is the famous Bert, uh, Barnett suggests the meaning of this line is that the self-lover does nothing, does nothing of himself, uh, does nothing of himself. That is that he does nothing that does not concern himself. This is, uh, the Burnett is the classic editor of, uh, uh, of the Greek text uh, uh, um, uh, for the, you know, the classic edition uh, 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 in, in the uh, two-volume commentary. Um, so that many people rely on in that sense. And this is, uh, this is why it's a great, it's a hint here, that love of the, he only concerns for himself. The decent person, on contrast, by contrast, acts on account of what is noble, kolos, kolos, noble, beautiful, good, uh, beautiful and noble, right? What is uh, uh, kolos, and the better a person he is, and uh, 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 and the better a person he is, the more he acts on account of what is beautiful, noble, kolos, right, and for the sake of a friend, while disregarding himself. So the idea is that the person is. Uh, the decent, the, 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 sh the shameful person or the base person is the self lover, the, the thinks of himself and acts only for himself. Where the, no, the decent person, the decent, so the decent versus the corrupt, right? This is the tension. The corrupt person is the one who only cares for himself and his own pleasures and his own good and his own benefits. Where the noble, uh, uh, the decent person, the decent person here is one who is concerned himself with. Uh, what is noble, acting on what accords what is notable, and for the sake of the friend, and disregarding himself. Yet the deeds, uh, yet the deeds are discordant with these arguments, and not unreasonably. So therefore, the deeds. If you look carefully, he says, yet deeds are discordant with these arguments. For people assert that one ought to love one's best friend most, and that one's best friend is someone who, when he wishes for good things for a person does so for that uh, for that person's sake even if no one will know about it now 21 there's an alternative reading one's uh, uh, one's best friend is someone whom one wishes for someone in other words one's best friend is uh, someone who wishes for 
or someone for whom is wished the greatest uh, uh, wish, the good things for that person's sake, right? Uh, 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 so therefore, this is the double meaning of that. Those two, it, it can be read two ways in that sense. Twenty, uh, uh, twenty, uh, no, twenty-one is so that. And even if he does not, even if no one will know about it, right? This idea that for their sake. Uh, but these are qualities. But these are qualities present, especially in the person, in relation to himself too, right? This idea itself. And indeed, so are all the other things by which a friend is defined. For it, um, uh, for it was said that all the characteristics that all that characterize friendship stems from oneself and extends towards the other. Now, remember earlier chapter you said that, that the friendship is another self, right? Another self. So the goods you want for the you, uh, in other words, the goods you want for yourself, in other words, it's kind of a form of self love. It's a uh, uh, the love of them is kind of a love of oneself in that sense. Um, Let's go to this. Is the, uh, uh, in other words, let's repeat this line. But these are the qualities present, especially in the person in relation to himself. And indeed, so are all the other things by which a friend is defined. For it is said that all character that uh, 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 all that characterize friendship stems from oneself and extends towards the other. Moreover, all the proverbs are of the same judgment. Such as one soul, uh, or as one soul. In other words, his friends are like one soul. The, uh, the things of friends of common. Friendship is equality, right? And the knee is closer to the chin. Now, twenty-two says, from the first verse, this is Euripides, uh, uh, Orestes, or Euripides, Orestes, uh, lines uh, uh, ten forty-five to forty-six. The last is given in verse form. The knee is farther off from the shin. Is uh, Theocritus' is it, it, idols. Il, il is, uh, idols, um, uh, 1618, uh, 16, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 verse 18, I think, uh, 16 is the section, and 18. Aristotle has referred to the other two proverbs earlier, the things of the friends are in common at eight, book 8, chapter 9, and friendship is equality, 8, chapter 5. So, for all these things would belong to the person in relation to himself most of all. He is most a friend to himself, and so one ought to love oneself most. Therefore, there is understandably perplexity as to which view, um, to which view is, it is right to follow, since both have credibility. In other words, these two views that it's better, that the better person should be giving to others and not oneself. Selfish person is too selfish and bad. Whereas the other one, no, 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 the friend is the self, and therefore you need to love, the, to be a good friend, you have to, uh, uh, it is the love of oneself in that sense. Perhaps, so let's continue the next paragraph. Perhaps then one ought to take apart such arguments. Now you have to take apart such arguments and determine to the extent to which or in what respect each is true. So therefore, let's look at both these two arguments. And then the, the first one about, you know, it's better to, you should love the friend rather than yourself. And it's shameful to love yourself too much. And the other one is that, no, 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 loving one friend requires you to love oneself most. And that's a, it is truly the love of self. Now, which of these is true? Now, he, says, he says they both may be both a little bit true. Both have truth to them. Um, but we need to uh, uh, take apart the arguments, deconstruct the arguments. It is therefore, uh, if therefore, if therefore, we should grasp how each side is speaking of the self-lover, perhaps the matter would become clear. So we need to become, we have to discover how are we, how are both these, views when I say the self-lover what do they mean by it and let's be clear about it okay maybe this will help understand it now when uh, now then those who bring self-love into reproach call self-lovers those people who allot themselves the greater share of money honor and bodily pleasures for the many long for the many the many the uh, right 
uh, the many, the hoi polloi. The many long for these things and are serious spudaios about them on the grounds that they are what is best. Hence, two such things are fought over. In other words, there's competition, there's money. People compete over and fight over money, honors, and pleasure. And this is what the many believe to be the highest of goods, the most serious of goods, okay? Those who grasp for more of these things gratify their desires and in general their passions and the non-rational part of their souls. In other words, the people who grasp these, who, who privilege these goods as the highest goods, are, are really what? Privileging their desires, their desires in general. And in general, their passions, the passions, the desiring and passionate part of the soul. And the non, and hence the non-rational part. Remember, remember, go back what the part of the soul is. The soul. Okay, this is the problem. We read this word soul. The word Greek word is psyche, the mind, the mind, the psyche, the body. Now this is the what is this? There's the uh, uh, we we the, uh, this this constitutes the psyche is the person in this sense. This is the person. This is how we would maybe construct the person, um, uh, which is composed of uh, the you know the veget you know the famous things in Aristotle the vegetative the the vegetative part which is kind of this pure matter the material living matter material physical matter living matter then we have a uh, 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 desiring things that desire the body pleasures desiring then we have the spirited part the thematic part uh, uh, those who are, we deal with anger and uh, 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 anger uh, uh, and then last, which is another, it, it is a, it's two sides of the, the spirit. These are two parts of desiring parts. One is the tied with the body, and one tied to the spirit. And then last but not least, uh, there is the next part, which is the, the the rational part, the part driven by logos, reasoning, speech, speech, logos, logos is word, speech, reasoning, argument. And this is uh, the ruling part, he says. So these are the parts of the soul. Now, what happens here when we claim those who love mo money, who want the greater share of money, honors, bodily pleasures, they're being driven by their passions, the lower, the non-rational part of the soul. Such is the character of the many. Okay, and again, this is the perception. The many are driven by the low things. Hence, too, this, uh, uh, hence, too, this familiar term of reproach has arisen from uh, uh, the case that mostly prevails, which is indeed base. In other words, in other words, this is the position of the, and this is why the many position that, oh no, you love these low things, that you love these low things. And this is why, if you love these low things, the things like this very Socratic argument, right? The Socratic Platonic claim that you should, those who love the, who let the passions rule, this is the base, and therefore they should be, uh, should not allow them to rule, but this is, this is how the many are, uh, uh, and therefore this is the base, right? Um, those against uh, uh, hence this reproach is arisen from the case mostly prevails, which is indeed base, right? Those who are self lovers in this way, therefore, are justly reproaches, he says. He ends the paragraph. In other words, if you if you if if you really love yourself and that you want the you want the base, you want the money, you want more money, you demand that you get all the money, you get uh, you enjoy the money, you get more of the honors, you get. Hold on, I got. The wife is gardening, so therefore she's interrupting all the time. Like, um. So um, so therefore, this is the that they are the. Those who love this way are, are just a reproach. They, if you love the uh, uh, the honors, the things of money, the bodily pleasures, the most, and you demand the most of it, that this is the wrong kind of. You, if you glorify your base desires and privilege your passions and desires over the rational part, then this is something base. This is justly reproachable, and the, the claim is. 
Next paragraph. It is not unclear that the many are accustomed to saying that those who allot such things to themselves are self-lovers. So it's not unclear that the many are accustomed to saying this. Right? For if someone should always take serious that he himself um, that he himself do what is just or moderate or whatever else accords with the virtues and in general, if he should secure what is noblest for himself, the beautiful, most beautiful, the no, what is noble, what is beautiful, right? The kalos for himself. No one would say that he is a self-lover or even blame him. In other words, they wouldn't blame him. Someone who, uh, so therefore it is, not, it is not unclear that the many are accustomed to saying that those who allot such things for themselves are self-lovers. So it's not unclear. So it's double negative. It's not. So it's clear that the many are accustomed. So the money even, the many even accuse those people who are like this. Which is interesting. That this is a crime at one level, that it's the accusation of the many. But even the many are accustomed to saying that those who allot such things to themselves are self lovely So this is also the opinion of the many as well, this critique. Now he goes, if someone should always take seriously what he himself, uh, what he himself do, uh, that he that he himself do what is just or moderate, so for sune, or whatever else in accord with the virtues, and in general, he would secu- uh, 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 if he should secure what is beautiful, noble, good, kalos for himself. No one would say that he's a self-lover or even blame him in that sense. They wouldn't even call him the self-lover in this meaning of the term. But this sort of person would seem to be more of a self-lover at any rate. He allots to himself the most be- the noblest, the things, right? The, uh, the, the cologne, the cologne in the, sup- the, the cologne in the superlative. So the most beautiful the most no, be, noble, the uh, 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 most you know good, and remember, Cologne is the lesser good. Now, Agathos is one good, but the Cologne. So there's the uh, 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 the noblest and be, most beautiful things, and the greatest goods. Now, this is Agathos. So it's the Colos, Colos, uh, the Colos Agathos, the most beautiful and the greatest of goods. And he gratifies the most authoritative part, the most ruling part of himself. And in all things, he obeys this part. In other words, this is the, this is the good person. This is the most person. He's the most lovely. He, he, in other words, he gratifies the most authoritative part, the ruling part of himself, the, the rational part. In other words, he seeks the noblest things. He, 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 and therefore, but he does by seeking these noble, these noble goods and these, these uh, 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 the noblest and most beautiful things and the greatest goods. He gratifies the most authoritative part of of, him, of, of the most ruling part, the rational part, right? The ruling part. The argument is that the logos, the logo part, the rational part. Or the, the speaking or, or the reasoning part is the part that is ruling in the the, uh, the, so, the, the good soul or the serious soul, right? Um, and therefore, he says, just as the city and every other whole composed the parts seems to be their most authoritative part of all, so too does a human being. So therefore, this is, in other words, just as the ruling who has composed the, the parts, right? The human being is composed of parts. Now, the problem here is the there's always the big problem of the analogy. Um, is the city and the soul identical in a sense? Is the human person, is the human body, the human being, the human beings organically constructed? The city is not perfectly organically constructed. There's more discretion in the parts of the city, right? So therefore, there is a the uh, the comparison is not strictly the same, but it's close enough uh, for our, uh, 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 it's close it's similar not identical similar so that the city uh, just as a city and every other whole composed the part uh, 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 seem to be their most authoritative part of all 
In other words, the ruling part, that, that, that part that rules and governs, um, uh, seems to be uh, uh, so too, uh, so too does the, uh, 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 the being, right? Uh, now that's a weird constructive question, but the part that, uh, that's a really constructed sentence and uh, uh, requires us to think about it for a second. But, it, it, but he ends there and he continues the next paragraph. A self-lover, therefore, is a person, um, uh, uh, is, uh, the self-lover, therefore, is especially that person who is fond of and gratifies the, this most authoritative part, this ruling part. In other words, a self-lover gratifies this ruling part. And he is said to be either self-restrained or lacking in self-restraint, depending on whether he, whether or not his intellect is in control. Uh, 23, otherwise, in other words, uh, uh, otherwise, uh, elsewhere translated as overpowers, but because Aristotle used cretin here as linked to self-restraint, or enkretia, right? Again, this is ekin three, this is back, this discussion of self-restraint and lacking self-restraint, enkentria, enkentria, and ekentria, right? Ekrasia. Um, these are the famous Aristotle's discussion in Book Seven, right, of, of the Ethics, that we talked about earlier in the previous videos. Um, therefore, this is what this would depend on. He is whether this ruling part is f fond of, of and gratifies this ruling part. Right? He is either to be self-restrained or lacking self-restraint, depending on whether he or not his intellect is in control, on the grounds that this part is the person himself. In other words, the ruling part, the person, the person is the ruling part. In other words, not the desiring part. The person is this ruling part, this ruling part, this rational part. This is the real person. It, the rational part is the person himself. In other words, on the grounds that this part is the person, the rational, the reasoning part. And therefore, whether he's in control or not control, basically, he, that he, whether he follows, whether or not his intellect is in control. Because this controlling part is the person himself. And those deeds that are accompanied by reason seem above all to be the ones done by peoples themselves and done voluntarily. In other words, the real actions, in other words, the truly voluntary are rational actions. Actions done by the rational part of the soul, the true, real choice. This is again choice at a certain level. Now, th th those things of the desires are less voluntary, he says. The truly voluntary, the rational part seems to be the most voluntary part, where the non-rational part seems to be an area where the there is a greater degree of the non-voluntary. Okay, this is the this is the uh, uh, this is the big problem. This, this kicks us all the way back to book one, the question of a choice. <coughs> book one and book two. So, it is it is not unclear. So again, double negatives, right? It is not unclear. Then that each person is this part, this rational part, or is this above all? In other words, if it's not he there, but he's above all that rational, this above all, and that the decent person is fond of this especially. In other words, the decent person is going to be the part that is governed by the rational part, that this is above all the good person, the, the, the decent person. Is the decent person is fond of this especially. Hence, he especially would, uh, he, he, hence he especially would be a self-lover, but in reference, but in reference to a different form of it than this, uh, uh, than the one subject to reproach, the one subject to reproach. In other words, what is he saying here? That it's going to be a self-love, but it's going to be not the love, the self-love, it's a different form of self-love. Well, it's it's yes the, the 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 decent person 
is going to be a self-lover in that sense, but a lover of something of self-lover of a different form than the lover, the, the, the self-lover that we approached earlier. In fact, it differs as much from this latter form as living in accord with reason differs from living with accord to passion. As much as longing for what is noble or beautiful differs from longing what is held to be advantageous, beneficial, that, uh, mere advantageous. Now, this is a problem. The, poli the political life, we both, he, he doesn't really make, here he see this seems to be a radical argument. Here he's going to say that the noble is higher than the advantageous. And I think this is a very interesting point because I think there is a truth to this. This is the most, here Aristotle is being much more platonic than elsewhere in the politics. In the politics, he will say, no, 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 no. Uh, and right here, he's kind of closer to what Socrates says in the Republic about the good, which he critically criticized a little earlier, right? In book one, in, er, earlier in the politics, um, uh, the ethics. But also in politics, because remember the common good, the common advantage is the thing that the political realm will aims at, not the noble. In fact, they can argue that this is the noble, that the common advantage is a noble. Now, but here is what is advantageous. Here the thing is that the question of the individual, what is advantageous for the individual, I think. So what is no longing for what is noble and advantageous means in literally these bodily desires from what is discussed earlier. In other words, the, the, these things of money, honor, pleasure, right? These things earlier. Um, and therefore, this is why he uses it this way. So in other words, that therefore this idea here is that living in this accord to this thing, higher soul, uh, 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 differs, the one who longs for the noble things and longs for the noble things, it differs in accordance with the one who living in accord with passion. As much as longing for what is noble differs from longing for what is held as advantageous. There's a difference. That this, that this, the one who longs to live for what is noble versus one who longs to live for what is uh, uh, the one who li lives according to reason versus the one who lives according to passion. That the relationship is like this between the one who merely strives for what is noble versus what they uh, for gain here. I think I, I think this slightly will, if you generalize this line here, this may mislead you. Okay. So be careful about this when we think, see this line. This is not general. I think this is where, if you if you understand this as a general statement, you uh, you have to understand this claim here is very specific to the argument that's being contextualized here in that sense. Now, all approve of and praise those who are pre preeminently serious about noble actions or beautiful actions. We, we all, in other words, all approve. Not, not just the noble, not just as beautiful people, not as smart people, not as wise people. But also all, all includes the many as well. Not only the few, but also the many, not the wise, the all, okay? All approve of and praise those who are preeminently serious about noble, beautiful actions, colossal actions. And if we compete with the view to what is beautiful and Oh, and we compete, and if all compete with a view to what is noble, what is coloss, right, what is beautiful, right, and exert themselves to, to do the utmost, to do what is noblest, most beautiful, right, most coloss, right, the coloss that is, you know, superlative, right, the most coloss, most beautiful, most noble, uh, then, uh, uh, then in common, there would be all the necessities, so commonly, in common, for the cornoi, cornoi, uh, the com, what is common, then in common, people that we share in common, there would be all the necessities. And for each individual, the greatest goods. 
if in fact virtue is of such a character you know if virtue is of su uh, uh, such a character of this person who seeks these no these greatest of goods well if they're doing this if, they, if you're seeking these greatest of goods right to exert themselves to do these noble good, then the common what is held in common would be all the necessities all the necessities for each individual and individually the, and and for in other words all the necessities of, for the commons all the things necessary for the common and for each individually the greatest of good so therefore the commons are necessary things and the individuals are achieving the greatest of goods the greatest of benefits as a result the good person ought to be a self-lover he will both profit himself and benefit the others by doing beautiful things, noble things, kolos things. But the corrupt person ought not to be a self-lover, right? He will harm both himself and his neighbors since he follows his base passion. So the difference here is the, the, is, is the uh, if the thing that you love, the self-lover seeks the noble passions, then not only does this Yes, it benefits himself, but it also benefits the society. Whereas the people who look, they, if they love their, if they love these lower passions, they, they're, they're governed by their, their their base passions, their passions, and their desire to get more of them. Though so these will not only harm themselves, but harm others. Okay, he will harm both himself and harm his neighbor, since he follows his base passions. In the case of the corrupt person, then, what he ought to do and what he actually does are in discord. Whereas the decent person does what he ought to do. So therefore, that's the other thing that the corrupt person is then he, what he ought to do and what he does are not in concord. In other words, he should be doing this, but doesn't do this. Uh, uh, where the decent person does what he ought to do every intellect now this is news written by the news every intellect chooses what is best for itself so every mind chooses the best the best for itself and the decent person obeys the rule of his intellect so it chooses the the intellect chooses the best now this is a problem now this is where this is this is this requires some point because in book six of the ethics, Noose is merely represented as the agent that trues about the arche. It reveals the arches. It reveals the first principles, the starting points, the, the things. The things that do not admit to be, in other words, they, they are arche, they are starting points. They are not things that are deduced, they're not things that are produced by anything. They are there, there. The things that are simply there. The things that are true or not true, the things that are, in other words, things that are valid or not, things that are things, of the axioms, the statements of things, right? We in logic, but uh, or the principles, the fundamental principles that start uh, uh, by which deduction or and re the deductive reasoning or episteme rest upon, right? Or in uh, the in his, his evaluation of phonesis, it is. Noose is that part which the phonetic part will it will light in light it will indicate a show the correct action the, the the correct act what is the correct thing what is just so noose reveals discloses discloses in that sense it it, it reveals this is revelatory in that sense this is why some feel this is why some in uh, uh, theologians will point to noetic as the divine, right? This is, it is it's a disclosing, it reveals, it's revel, it reveals like revelation, right? It discloses and reveals. Uh, this is why someone like Thomas Aquinas will s look at Noose in that sense and sees the divine, a the divine agency in that sense. Um, every intellect chooses what is best for itself. Interesting. So therefore, there's this idea here that um, uh, uh, they will ch choose what is best for itself, what is good for it, what is best for itself. And decent person obeys and rules as it, uh, obeys the rules of his intellect. 
So the intellect will choose what is best for itself. Will highlight what this is best. And a decent person follows his intellect. Every decent, every intellectual intellect chooses what is best for itself, and the decent person obeys the rule of the intellect. It is true in the case of the serious person, the spudaios. I wouldn't get rid of the person because it's a spudaios, a serious man, a serious person, a serious one. The spudaios is the person's added word now, right? The spudaios, that he does many things for the sake of both his friends and his fatherland, and even dies for them if need, if need be. He will give up money, honors, and generals, the goods that are fought over, thereby securing for himself what is beautiful, what is colossal, what is noble, the colossus, what is the colossus, what is the noble, what is the beautiful, the truly beautiful in a sense. Again, this is like this is where uh, uh, Horace's famous line poem that it's be- sweet and beautiful thing to die once for its country, right? Aristotle's get there first in that sense. It is what uh, 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 that it is that the person who is serious in this is truly serious. He does many things for his both his friends and his fatherland, and he will die for them, both his friends or his fatherland, if need be. He will give up money, honors, and general and in general the good the and in general the goods that are fought over. What are the goods I fought over? Money, pleasure, these things, right? Whereby securing for himself, he will gladly give these other goods up, but securing for himself the noble. He would choose to feel pleasure intensely for a short time, over feeling it mildly for a long one. To live nobly for one year over living a haphazard way for many years. And to do one great and noble action over many small ones. In other words, this is interesting. This this this, this person this person who who is the spudaios, the serious one. He wants to do a. He'd rather what? He'd rather do a you know this great pleasure for a short time. The get the, the sacrifice that what? The sacrificing of himself uh, for his friend or his. The, uh, or his fatherland, his country. Um, why? Because this produces uh, uh, for him. Uh, now, this is going to be uh, sacrifice is pain, it's misery, it's dying, it's like war. This is, this is like Owen's famous uh, 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 po- English war poet in First World War attacking Horace's line and saying it's a lie. This is a lie. Um, well, from the modern materialistic perception, yes, it seems if life, if mere life and so mere survival and these lower in, these lower passions are the only thing we have, and there's nothing higher than this, and there's no, there's nothing. Nobility is just a a, a, a false delusion, a, a kind of a superstructure lie created by power to get you to get people to sacrifice their interest for the sake of others um well then okay this makes i mean i understand but aristotle says no that there is this higher trend there is this transcendent pleasure (laughs) and the person who does this gets more pleasure more pleasure much more that in other words in doing these great deeds that sacrificing them for his friends or his country that the pleasure of that action literally the this point there is a kind of euphoria in that sense that it, it may arguing in that sense the euphoria in the sense that gives him that that uh what that 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 he would rather give it up he, you know he'd rather just get that than than living haphazardly over one getting that feeling of a short intense thing this short intense greatness is is worth more than these lower level goods and happiness he will in other words uh, 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 he will choose to feel the pleasure intensely for the short time than over a long one to live nobly for one year 
than living haphazardly for many years. And to do one great action than many small little ones. This is perhaps what happens to those who die for others. They thus choose some great, no beautiful thing, noble thing for themselves. They would also give away money on the condition that their friends will receive more of it. For while his friends gains money, he gains the be- what is beautiful, what is noble. Kalos. He assigns to himself, therefore, the greater good. He's, in other words, ironically, he's given to himself the greater good. And same thing holds regarding honors and political offers. He will give up all these things to a friend. For doing so is noble, beautiful for him, and praiseworthy for him. In other words, I'm not going to do it. I'm doing it for you. I, I, I help you. I help you get this office or this power or this position or honor. You get the honor, not me. I, uh, 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 this is that. This is noble. This 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 act. This 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 action is a selfishness in this sense. Not a, not the words. This is very interesting. Aristotle, see, a Christian would look at this and see self sacrifice. A Christian looks at this actions as self sacrifice. Oh, you're sacrificing yourself. Oh, you're 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 sacrificing it, it, um, that you're you're humbling yourself and you're letting the you know you're 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 you're, let, you're, you're sacrificing. Aristotle is suggesting that no, this is not, this is what, that, that this is a, the person who does this is not sacrificing, rather they're getting the greatest thing. They're obtaining a pleasure that, that, that is greater and beyond measure compared to the lesser pleasures. That they, that, that they understand this through reasoning and therefore they choose it, right? They choose this. In other words, they would what? They would they surrender understandingly. In other words, uh, uh, they give up all those things to his friend. Doing so uh, is what is uh, make doing it so is noble for him and praiseworthy. Understandably, therefore, he is held to be spodio, serious. Instead of all the things uh, mentioned. He chooses what is noble, what is beautiful, the kolos. But it is possible, too, that he forgoes in favor of his friend the performance of certain noble, certain actions. In other words, he let them, that it, uh, then that it is nobler for him thus to become the cause of his friend's actions than to perform uh, those actions himself. Now that's even more interesting. In other words, this is even I'm, I'm a bigger game. I'm going to help you to do become, I'm going to be the agent of you. I'm going to become the agent by which you do these noble things. So I'm, a, I'm the cause for you doing these, those great things, those noble, most beautiful things. So that not only do I do the noble things like this and, and, and give lesser things, but maybe I may even help you achieve great things. And that makes me even more noble. That makes that gives me a great, I become the agent of your nobility, your sacrifice, your, uh, your great actions, your great noble things, right? Um, uh, uh, in other words, for a favor of his friend, performance of certain noble actions, certain actions, and that it is mo- nobler, most, more beautiful, or for him thus to become the cause of his friend's actions than to perform those actions himself. In all praiseworthy things, therefore, the serious man manifestly allots more of the noble or beautiful, close, to himself. In other words, in the, regarding the praiseworthy things, in this way, then, one should be a self-lover. As and has been said, but in the way that the many are, the many are who long for what the lesser, not the higher goods, not the noble goods, but these lower goods, the lo- the lovers of the lower goods, the like things like a mere power, mere power, mere honor, 
prestige, reputation, honor, uh, wealth, pleasure, money. No, that is the lower one. That's the, the, the to value these things and seek those things most for yourself. To love those, to love yourself, so that you must have those things. To uh, to desire those honor those things most of all, and more of them than perhaps maybe you should. Here, but the greatest of goods, the truly honorable, the truly noble. This is a right to be a self-lover. But the other kind, no. So that's the difference he ends it on. So we'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions, please put them below. Um, um, uh, we hope to see you guys have some questions. Uh, if you like it, hit the like button. Uh, please hit the like button. Hit, uh, uh, hit the thumbs up. Um, it helps the algorithm. It, it makes everything work a little better. Um, if you've not... Uh, 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 subscribed yet and in watching the channel please subscribe uh, please uh, share this video far and wide share it on your social media share it uh, uh, through friends again share it far and wide it helps the algorithm also gets attention to the things another thing you can do is encourage friends to come watch us and view our channel grow channel some encourage them to see what we do here both in terms of the ethics but also the other videos my other video uh, 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 so that are what we call them the playlists, the other playlists, um, uh, the Aristotle's politics playlist, which would be a couple a year or so ago, and, and uh, uh, Montesquieu's spirit of the laws, which are longer videos because we other way did it. You know, we have other book texts, or Locke, uh, Locke, uh, 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 Thucydides, and other things. So go, please check them out now. Um, if you're uh, uh, didn't like it, you can always thumbs down it, but say why in the comments. It helps. It helps the comments explain what the, what's wrong, right? The mistake, man, I made a mistake. You disagree with something I wrote, said, or therefore people can benefit from it. Uh, we'll understand it and check it out, right? Okay. Another word thing you can do is follow me on social media. The links are below. You can follow me on social media. Yes, some of my social media, I'm less active art. Like I don't have done mines in a while, so I should maybe get rid of it. Um, so I can't even access it anymore. You know, oops. Um, another thing you can do is you can uh, follow, if you want to know more about me as a researcher, know about my work, see my scholarship, check things like that out. You can go below the social media as the academic social media links. Please go check them out. Uh, another thing you can do is you want to help me to do what I do. do. Um, this is where you can contribute something and help financially to keep out what I do. You know, I don't have I don't have the bigger size. But I have the charity button. You know, the, the, the please work for money. You know, hat my hat, hat in my hand, uh, uh, t uh, and beg philosophy on the street. I'll be, uh, beg, uh, be, uh, you know, okay, you can help by um, uh, doing either Patreon or Subscribestar. No, either way, or you can buy one of my books, which are listed below. Okay, that's it. I, I stop here and we'll see you next time when we look at chapter nine. Bye bye.